Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm sharing my first fall card of the year and a few tips for creating a cohesive look with your card design. So let's get started. First, I've stamped a bunch of autumn images from Happy Harvest, Jump for Joy, and Let's Go Nuts with Versafine and heat embossed them with clear embossing powder. Most of my images, including the fox, leaves, and pumpkins, will be in the same yellow, orange, and brown color scheme. It would be very easy to have lots of competing shades of yellow, orange, and brown, but I decided to choose eight markers in those three shades that I could use together to create a complementary look. I have a little extra variation in my fox so that he stands out from the leaves, but I still stuck with the same marker families. I used E97, E99, E08, and E19 for the fox. I started with my lightest shade and then added my darkest shade and blended back out to the lightest. I used toner grays and warm grays for the crows and squirrels. And I also used the same yellows for the crows beaks. For the pumpkins and leaves, I used three marker blending groups. My lightest yellow leaves are Y32, Y35, and Y38. My orange leaves are YR18, YR68, and YR16, and my brownish leaves are E18, E09, and YR18. After experimenting with my lightest shade first on the yellow leaves, I decided it was okay to just start with my darkest marker first and then blend out to the lightest. I looked at the layout of the leaves in the stamp design and added the darkest marker shading wherever it seemed like a leaf was positioned underneath another leaf. Off camera, I stamped more of the leaves and pumpkins and colored them with Copic markers before die cutting all of them with the coordinating dies. Next, I blended a panel of Strathmore Bristol Smooth Cardstock with Distress Oxide Inks in Mustard Seed, Crackling Campfire, Fired Brick, and Ground Espresso. I found that those colors matched most closely with my Copic Marker colored leaves. When I have the scene with lots of detail, I like to choose my markers first and then match those to my blended background to ensure that the colors are cohesive and that my background won't clash with the colored images or vice versa. Sometimes it's easy to kind of separate the two parts of the card when you're working, and then when you get ready to put it all together, you realize the background and colored images just don't work well together.
I let that dry completely and then die cut the leafy tree backdrop landscape and stitch tree borders from sycamore pattern paper that's part of the Into the Woods remix pack. I also die cut a simple stitched hillside border from Autumn Sparkle cardstock. Again, keeping the overall color palette in mind, I love how the wood grain pattern paper matches with the ground espresso distress oxide ink, and the sparkle cardstock has hints of ground espresso as well. I applied double sided adhesive to the back of the leafy tree backdrop frame and then adhered the hills and the stitch tree borders. I lined up the frame over my blended panel to figure out spacing for my sentiment and then stamped a sentiment from Jump for Joy with Versafine and heat embossed it with clear embossing powder. Then I adhered my blended panel to the frame to create my card background. I adhered that to a top folding landscape card base and then started to build up my scene. I ended up die cutting a few leaves from the leafy tree backdrop portrait set from the same autumn sparkle cardstock and arranged all of my images to create my scene. I used a mix of liquid adhesive and foam mounting tape to adhere everything together. I used foam mounting tape for the critters and some of the leaves just to give the card a little more dimension. I also added a few leftover leaves and a bird to the inside of the card to carry the design through the entire card. And that's it. You can find more information on the products I used in the YouTube description below or over on my blog. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. If you do subscribe, make sure you click the bell so you're notified the next time I post. Here are a few more videos you might be interested in and until next time, have an amazing day and happy crafting. Bye!